I'm trying to make movie magic in 48 hours. Inner City Filmmakers is a way to help low-income and minority youth advance their careers. It's not just about filmmaking, it's about life. We're about to embark on a journey to make this film happen within 48 hours from 10 minutes from now. Fantasy? Yeah. <laughs> Toilet paper! <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper, hell yeah. The idea is to have kids challenged. So where are we at? Fantasy, old-fashioned phone, toilet paper, and, and naked people. Naked people. Yep. <laughs> Basically, we were working around our location. We have mm -hmm. a white room in Italian church, mm -hmm. and we're thinking of centering our story around the confession box, as in like demonic priests, maybe him being a psychopath. The sins just keep building up, and they get more extreme. And then at the end, we find out that he's he's been talking to himself the entire time. The toilet paper. If we have like a mummy wrapped in toilet paper and he's the one that kills people. <laughs> yeah. Our plan for tonight is just getting ready for shooting tomorrow, 6 a.m. So writing a script, talking about shots, and hopefully a little bit of sleep. It is 2.04 a.m. We are working on finessing our script. We're working on calling actors to act in our film in about three or four hours. We managed to get three actors and we're pretty much set to film. It's legit, right? It's perfect. <laughs> Alex came on board last minute. We had a producer, an AD, and the entire crew, but no one had stepped up to direct the film yet. And instead of being a PA, he ended up being the director of the film. I love the creativity. I love writing stories. I've always been able to make up stories in my head, and now I get to, the chance to express it. I personally want to be a camera operator. That's like my lifelong dream. Ever since, I don't know, I was a little kid and just saw movies, and I was like, wow, that was really cool. As a kid growing up in you know, a bad part of town and bad environment, movies were my escape. It opened up my eyes to a whole new world. Shooting has been going great. There has been a couple of setbacks along the way, including locations being canceled, locations being rescheduled, actors canceling, crew members canceling. So you know, nothing big. The coffee didn't even get here until halfway through <laughs> all those problems. Right now we're just trying to prep our scene since her boyfriend dropped out. I guess I'm the boyfriend now. That's like you're so tired that you're awake. I think the, our biggest challenge was just getting the story down. When we have like six and seven great minds, we were gonna clash, and at first it was just very frustrating writing that script, but once we all decided that everyone has to do just their part, that was the best way to go. It is Sunday morning. We finished shooting last night, and we are all recuperating. We are in the editing process, Five o'clock right now, we have five hours left, and we're still working on the first cut. Forty-eight hours later, we we did it. And even if we end up not winning, we made something beautiful. I'm so incredibly proud of our crew for putting in so much work. I mean, this is my second family, you know? Of course. Oh, that's, that's love right <laughs> yeah. there. Inner City Filmmakers gave me a creative outlet, let me be in charge of people, let me write my own stories, and it just made me a lot happier. It literally just, like, made my passion just grow for film so much more like I eat and breathe and just dream it now. <laughs> this is what we love to do no matter how difficult or you know stressing this might be. It's a learning experience. If you love what you do you'll do anything to make it happen yeah. and that's why we're still standing here. Either that or we're totally insane. I think it's a little bit of both. There you go. <laughs>